Most of the residents on Lookout Mountain have ancestors who worked at the Durham coal mines from 1864 through 1951, and that is one of the reasons they call Lookout Mountain home. For the first time since 1951, the citizens and visitors at Lookout Mountain will have access to the old coal mines and rails through the Durham Coal Mine Train Rails to Trails project. For many years, it has been both a dream and an active project to connect the world-class natural resources of the tri-state region via a trail system. Such a trail system has many recreational and health benefits to our local population. It is also an economic engine for our local economy, which services the hundreds of thousands of tourists who visit the area each year. One of the major links in this trail chain to which thousands of area citizens have contributed both time and money is the trail connection between the Greater Chattanooga Area Greenway System and Cloudland Canyon State Park, located in both Dade and Walker counties. On November 15th, Superior Court Judge Ralph Van Pelt entered an order which will complete that project by ordering the opening of South Vulcan Drive to take place on January 16th, 2017. This clears the final hurdle for the connection to be completed. The trail system is completed or under construction all the way from Camp Jordan in East Ridge along the South Chickamauga Creek to the Tennessee River, then along the Riverwalk to downtown Chattanooga and on to St. Elmo. From St. Elmo, trails are in place up and around Lookout Mountain to Point Park and on to Covenant College. From 2005 to 2015, the State Park, Southern Off-Road Bicycle Association, and many other partners built trails from a new trailhead at the Old Core State Park property up to and across Ascalon Road, where a fabulous multi-purpose trailhead was built to accommodate horses, bikers, and hikers. Local private foundations help fund picnic pavilions, changing stations, and restrooms at this trailhead. From Ascalon, the Cloudland Connector Trail goes north onto another trailhead for bicycles and hikers at Five Points, where local private foundations also help fund a changing station and restrooms. Around Five Points, in addition to the multi-purpose Cloudland Connector Trail, mountain bikers have close to 50 miles of world-class single-track mountain bike trails available. This Five Points Trailhead is off State Route 157 in the Mount Pleasant community, just south of Mile Marker 21 in Walker County. From Five Points, the multi-purpose Cloudland Connector Trail continues south and east, crossing State Route 157, and in 10 miles reaches another funded multi-purpose, horse-friendly trailhead at Nickajack Road, also providing a changing station and restrooms. From Five Points, there is also the multi-purpose Durham Connector Trail, north to the park boundary at Durham Road. From Durham Road, Walker County has used a recreational trails grant and other funding to build the Durham Rail Trail, mostly along the historic Durham Rail Line corridor from Cloudland Canyon State Park to a public park at Trestle 14 on the county's South Vulcan Drive. The Durham Rail Line ran from south of Durham Road to Chickamauga, providing a way to transport the coal from the Durham mines located all along the rail line on Lookout Mountain. Local private foundation donated an easement through its 342-acre track across the park on Durham Road. These 342 acres are now under conservation easement and can never be developed. This allowed Walker County to get the trail down to Rock Creek and the Durham Rail Line. Looking south from the Warren Switchback, you can see the highest mountain in the state of Alabama, Mount Cheha, at 2,411 feet. The Wingfield family also donated a corridor across a small strip of their property along Rock Creek. Here, Walker County built a picnic shelter. There, the Durham Rail Trail runs north on the rail line for about a quarter of a mile to the historic Trestle 15 area. The railroad built wooden trestles over all creeks and then built culverts or tunnels over the creek beds, then dumped mine tailings through the wooden trestles and over the culverts until the ground was level with the tracks. Here at Trestle 15, the railroad used hand-cut rock block 
from the coal mines to build a culvert over the original creek bed. However, in 1996, the flooding caused by Hurricane Opal filled the culvert with storm debris, causing the water to back up, which in turn blew out the rock bed fill, thus leaving a crumbling mess in which the fish could not migrate and which dumped tons of fish killing silt into the creek with each heavy rain. In 2012, Walker County repaired the culvert which allowed the creek to once again flow along its natural course, allowing the fish to migrate for the first time in a decade and a half. Walker County stabilized the banks along the Hurricane Opal washout of the railroad bed, leaving it as an emergency creek overflow and built this beautiful bridge as a crossing. From Trestle 15, the Durham Rail Trail continues north primarily along the rail line. The Warren and Raul families donated land to allow proper trail construction. The railroad built a tunnel over the West Fork of Rock Creek, also known as Pump Gulf Creek, under Trestle 14, then filled in the trestle. The Raul family donated over six additional acres at the creek along the east side of the trestle on which Walker County has created Trestle 14 Public Park. The trail and park are now open to the public from Durham Road. Once South Vulcan Drive is open on January 16, 2017, parking will be available at Trestle 14 Park. The trail shares the public road known as South Vulcan Drive, south to and across Vulcan Road, on to North Vulcan Drive to a temporary trail end. But Walker County has created Share the Road right of way alternate trails along Vulcan Road east to the Nickajack Trailhead and north along Vulcan Road and Mount Olive Road to the Hinkle Town Center, located at the site of the historic Hinkle Railroad Station. From Hinkle, Walker County has established a road right-of-way share, the road trail along its extra-wide 100-foot right-of-way on Lula Lake Drive to the Covenant Connector Trail. Off-road connectors will be provided in the future. Except for a quarter mile of South Vulcan Drive, which is owned by a Tennessee resident and blocked from public use via a gate, the trail system between Chattanooga and Cloudland Canyon State Park is complete. On November 15, 2016, Walker County went to court to open the road. Judge Van Pelt awarded fee simple title of the road to Walker County but gave the Tennessee gate owner until January 16, 2017 to allow the public to open and use its road. Shannon Whitfield takes office as Walker County Commissioner on January 1, 2017. It will be up to him to enforce the court order. Please contact him and voice your support for opening the last quarter mile of South Vulcan Road so Walker County citizens can travel the road and access their public park and the trails between Chattanooga and Cloudland Canyon State Park.